And welcome to Broadwood Stadium for live coverage of today's match between Glasgow City and Forfar Farmington in SWPL1. This Scott Booth's 150th match in charge of Glasgow City. A very good record in charge of the two league defeats. One against Celtic and one against Spartans three, nearly four years ago now. It's a three three in Cumbernauld for SWPL football this afternoon. Well, was way challenging for the ball, and it breaks nicely there for. Joe Love, Fulton now can bring it forward under pressure from Pollard. McLaughlin gets past London Pollard, will try and get that into the box, but there Cassie Cowper is to clear the ball away. Ross now, and it goes. Love gets a little flick on that, maybe just took it away from Lauren Wade, but she'll keep it in, keep it in play. Wine with the effort there, great save, and there's Kirsty Howitt. Glasgow City take the lead, 11 minutes on the clock. Superb work from Lauren Wade to keep the ball in. Zanetta Wayne, I thought initially she was going to cross it, but an excellent effort from the full back. McNichol got her hand to it, but Kirsty Howitt following up for her second of the season. Pollard now for four for a nice little turn there to keep the ball in play. We'll curl one in field and Toland under pressure immediately from Simpson. The shot from Patterson is high over Clacker's goal. Ex-Glasgow City defender, of course, Donna Patterson. The ball long now for how he'll take it early off the post. It's just simple ball forward there for Kirsty Howitt and so, so close to making that 2-0. On the right-hand side now with Howitt. Gets past one, can she get past the second? It's a lovely challenge in the end. And Forfart will get the ball. Catherine Pender again. Gami now can play it out wide to Pollard. Looks to dink it through the middle for Simpson, but it's a heavy touch. The referee will bring it back. No advantage for Forfart. A lovely little move it was. Captain then from deep looks for the run there. Nice little touch and they've equalised. Super free kick from Forfart. And Donna Patterson's the one on the end of it. Clackers just couldn't get a strong enough hand to it. And after 18 minutes, one each here at Broadwood. And a lovely little interchange there. How it will find Wade. Colville now. For the home side. Curls one in deep there. Looking for Fulton. It's headed clear. McLaughlin will hit one! Lovely from Rachel McLaughlin! Superb strike there from Glasgow City's right back. Absolutely phenomenal. As soon as that ball broke out to the edge of the box for McLaughlin, there was only one thought in her mind. And Fiona McNichol, absolutely no chance. Glasgow City then retake the lead at Broadwood 2 1. Toland to play things forward for Fulton. Nice little ball through there for Howitt, maybe just a bit too long for her. The keeper spills it, Kirsty Howitt with the effort! And Kirsty Howitt with her second of the game. Almost looked like the ball through was just going to evade Kirsty Howitt. But Fiona McNichol couldn't bring the ball into her arms at the crucial moment. Really good time then for Glasgow City just to get that third goal and go to clear. Seven minutes until half time. Puts a little bit of pressure on Forfall then to try and get themselves back to one behind and back in this game before half time. Wine though with the ball through, looking for how it on a hat trick. Flag stays down here. She has Joe Love coming in. The pass is just behind Love. Does really well, Joe Love! And there's number four. 
Superb play from Vasco City. Kirsty Howe again involved. Joe Love this time on the end of it, the ball across. Almost perfect for Joe Love. Took her time, steadied herself, and put the ball beyond McNichol into the back of the four for net. And moments after, it's 3 1. Glasgow City extend their lead. And McLaughlin then with the throw. Picked up by Houghton. McLaughlin with a chance to get the ball in there. They're on the flick from Colville and the save from Fiona McNichol. Super chance that for Glasgow City. Lovely flick from Aoife Colville. And Fiona McNichol gets down well just to turn that ball round the post. Wayne picks up. As well to get past Rennie. Finds McLaughlin now. Ball in. It's like down might fall for Kirsty Howitt. It's headed clear over Fulton. And Colville! There's the goal! Aoife Colville with her first for Glasgow City. Excellently worked there as the ball broke. In the box. Almost looked like it might fall for Kirsty Howitt in the first instance. But Aoife Colville was there to make sure. That ball hit the back of the net. And 5-1 is the score now. At the start of the second half. Connor comes in from Wade. Bounces once, header over the keeper and off the post. And 6-1. It is for Glasgow City. The forward defence couldn't cope with the ball in this time. And Mary Fulton on the end of the corner. Flicks it over the head of the keeper. And then off the opposite post. Less than 18 minutes left here. 6 1 Glasgow City. Love. Wojcik can come inside the tackle, and that is a penalty for Glasgow City. Penders challenge, didn't get enough of the ball, says the referee. City facing away from goal. And Leanne Ross sends the keeper the wrong way. Standard penalty from the Glasgow City captain. Very, very rarely does she not convert from the spot. Fiona McNichol, no chance. 7 1 to the hosts. Can hear the wind a bit more as well. City with the throw. Taken down nicely by Howitt. And there is Wojcik with a chance to drive. She'll curl one. Good stop. That'll break nicely. And on a hat trick, Kirsty Howitt finishes. A good stop by McNichol in the first instance. But there was Kirsty Howitt again. Second time today. She's been in the right place at the right time. And a tap in again for Glasgow City's number nine. That trick hero for the home side. McLaughlin, who will take this one, goes into the box with it for Davidson. How it will try and take that down, thumped into how it was. Wojcik on the edge of the box, takes a touch round, trying to work the space and taking completely out the game. Well, 12 yards is prime Leanne Ross territory. 19 yards is definitely prime Leanne Ross territory. Who will it be? Wade leaves it. Ross! Off the crossbar from Leanne Ross. Excellent technique again to get that up and over the wall from Leanne Ross. This time just couldn't quite find the postage stamp there in the top corner. Wojcik tries to win that one back. Joe Love does have that in City possession. Howitt now turns well forward for Davidson and Howitt again can come inside she'll look to take the strike on herself Kirsty Howitt and it's tipped onto the crossbar super save again from Fiona McNichol lovely from Kirsty Howitt and that striker's instinct there was only one thing she was going to do picking up the ball in that area and so so close to a fourth of the game for City's number nine Connell taking short to McLaughlin into Joe Love and straight into the arms of 
Fiona McNichol and that is the last chance of the game. Glasgow City an excellent performance this afternoon. Kirsty Howitt with a hat trick making the headlines there. City's number nine are up to four for the season and amongst the goals as well a screamer from Rachel McLaughlin, Leanne Ross from the penalty spot and most crucially for the first goals for Aoife Colville and Maddie Fulton. Fantastic to see them on the score sheet for the first time. Seems a long time ago now that Donna Patterson had equalised for Forfar. City record a comfortable win then at Broadwood in their second match at their new home. Full time here in Cumbernauld. Glasgow City 8, Forfar Farmington 1.